All right guys, welcome to another vlog. I just filmed, I think it'll be up before this video is the subscribers pick my makeup. I just took some Instagram photos in the sun because it is 77 degrees today in Seattle, which is a record since like 18 something. I think I'm gonna try and work out really quick if I can. Actually, I have a call in like five minutes, just kidding. I have a call, then I'm gonna try and work out, then I need to get my stuff together, shower, and then I'm gonna head over to my boyfriend's place, we're gonna get dinner. He actually leaves for a work trip for two weeks tomorrow. So we're gonna go get dinner, hang out tonight, and then he's peacing out for a couple weeks, which is actually not, I'm not like excited for, but I have a crap ton of stuff to get done in the next few weeks. So I'm excited to like, hopefully have a super productive couple weeks and just like crank out a bunch of stuff. I have a lot of trips coming up, so just trying to pre-film like three weeks in advance, basically. I just got these earrings from Madewell. I love how like thick they are and I love how you can't see the hole. And then this top I just got at Marshall's. I actually went this morning. I got a couple clips just like trying stuff on in the dressing room so I'll pop that in right now. So I got all of the things on the right side of that clip but I also got a couple of sports bras which I didn't show because I've been working on a crap ton so I figured I would just pick up a couple more. This one was $12.99 by New Balance. It felt really nice and tight so hopefully that'll be good. And then this Calvin Klein one I liked how long it went like it goes a good couple inches below the boobage and it's pretty high neck too so this one was 16.99 did you get a thing mm. is it good okay explosions of <laughs> flavor for you guys so i ordered canvases for like you can wash it if you get it dirty i'm like good point so and guys i just noticed my snake plant is already dying I just bought this one in Portland. Also, it's a pile of crap that I'm gonna be putting in my bedroom, but what the heck? I need to get you some light, man. So it is like 7.30 in the morning on Tuesday. The Tuesday, the week before you guys are seeing this, I think I just made some caffeine. Thank God, I'll link this mug down below. It's my favorite because it's giant. Every morning slash like the two to three times a day, I've been taking the CBD oil by hemp bombs 2000 milligrams this is like the strong stuff it's not cheap but it works and it is worth it it definitely like takes down my pain like a notch or two so in the morning it's super helpful because it usually can like make me have to wait longer to take medicine throughout the day point of the story is that i'm out of it and i ordered more like five days ago so hopefully it should be here any day now but i'm like struggling because i don't have this stuff what's on the game plan for today. I need to film this morning, so I'm gonna try and film, I definitely need to film one video. I might try and film a second, depending on how my makeup look turns out. I don't think I wanna go to the gym today. I think I'm just gonna do Jillian Michaels. Woo, I went from level two, from level one to level two the other day, and it is so intense. The difference between level one and level two are like, whoa. Workout, eating healthy update, I have been doing both. Not tightening up as fast as I used to. <laughs> I can definitely tell I'm getting a little older. Then I have calls and I need to edit. I'm also currently in the middle of decorating my bedroom finally. I kind of just like didn't get a headboard, didn't decorate the walls when I moved in. And I've just been kind of like waiting to see what I want to do with it. And I have a couple things I got off Amazon and then I need to go to a wood shop to get, I'm gonna like make these shelves. So that will probably happen tomorrow, but I'll show you guys a couple things. I got this from Goodwill. Then these are macrame plant holders, so I need to get plants for them. And then this clock, which I love, so pretty with the rose gold. This will be hanging on my bedroom wall too. And then I got these brackets that haven't come in yet from Amazon. I think they're supposed to be delivered today. I'm just gonna take those to the wood shop so they can like cut the wood for me. Most wood places, if you have any by you, will do all the cutting and stuff for you. So you literally just pick out the piece of wood and then they cut it and then you can stain it or whatever when you get home. So in the People article, there were about 22 products listed there. First impressions, feel soft giving me a glow feels like a moisturizer don't love the scent just filmed video number one it'll definitely be up after this vlog so i don't want to say what it is yet but this makeup look will be coming but a couple products in today's video really shocked me in a good way so i'm excited for you guys to see all right it's now 12 o'clock i just finished filming the two videos i just made some eggs i didn't really have oh i had a protein waffle thing actually these are really good let me show you okay don't know if you can see that but kodak cake actually makes protein blueberry waffles. They have 12 grams of protein, I think, for two of them. 
So I had one of these this morning. They're really good. Now I'm having some eggs. I did two eggs with one egg white and then mushroom, spinach, and some avocado. This is like late breakfast slash lunch. I might make some turkey bacon too if I'm still hungry. Peeled off my lashes and like rubbed off my lipstick. So I just have lip liner on. And then this is what I'm wearing. And the previous owner of my place just stopped by just to like say hi, which was so nice. He was in the neighborhood and he like dropped off some like manuals or some of the appliances he found or whatever. He's probably like, what is this chick doing at like one in the afternoon looking like this? If it wasn't a total wreck, I would have uh, invited him in to see how I like remodeled some of the stuff, but I have boxes everywhere, recycle that needs to be taken out. I need to clean my kitchen. Just importing all the footage onto the computer that I just filmed. If you do YouTube, this is a lifesaver, you guys. A link, I mean, you can use any hard drive, but just backing up your stuff onto a hard drive. And then I also edit off of this before my computer disk space would get full literally every other day and I would have to delete all the footage and like delete the Final Cut files. I literally just leave this in and you change the location on your final cut to the hard drive and you just edit off of the hard drive so it saves up a ton of computer space makes your computer like faster and i copy all of the footage right after i film so hopefully i'll never like lose footage from a memory card and you have backups of everything life-changing if you don't do this do it workout ready my entire outfit is basically Fabletics. Besides this bra, this is actually the one that I think I showed you guys in this vlog from Marshalls. It was the ribbed one, not the Calvin Klein brand. I can't remember what brand this was, but this is actually so good. I've worn this a few times. If you can find this bra, pick it up. It's super comfy and it has pretty good support. All right, let's do this, Jillian. This is where I work out. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I got this Amazon Basics yoga mat like less than a year ago and I need to toss it because it's like, what is happening? It's like peeling up. I've never had a yoga mat do that before. So I picked up this new one. It looks really cute. It's like black and has that pattern. So I'm going to use this one more time and then get rid of it because the black shit is like getting all over my place. Let's start with our arm crosses. Oh, big movements. Nice flowing stretches to get the heart rate up, get the body warm and ready to work. Look at that there we go so it's later in the night it's like 9 30 now and i didn't vlog the rest of the day because the migraine came on uh like right when i was drinking the green smoothie right after that so i was just in bed for the rest of the day but my pills kicked in and now i'm feeling okay so i got a few packages today but this was one of them i actually ordered an apple watch off of best buy and it came in two days this is the Apple Watch Series 3. I have super, super small wrists, so I'm hoping this doesn't look like very odd. Here's what it looks like. I ordered a light pink band off of Amazon. So the main reason why I got this was just to track um, like calories and activity and stuff. And it's cool because this one you can actually play your Spotify through, through your Bluetooth headphones with the Apple Watch, which I didn't know, which is awesome because then you don't have to carry around your phone. That doesn't look right. What am I doing? Oh, so that's what it looks like on my wrist. I think it looks fine. I actually don't think the face looks like too, too big. Look at that instructions I didn't use. This feels like a project right now. I don't know if I'm gonna do this tonight, but I will see you guys in the morning. So in the morning I have a chiropractor appointment uh, early, so I might try and go to Target at like 8 or 7.30 because I need to get a few more things for Rage's birthday, which is this weekend, which I'm super excited for. I just want to get her like some tchotchke kind of things. Do my aim a big shot, go to the grocery store, come back, film, edit, the usual. Wow, look at that sun. Went to Target. I'll show you guys what I got a little bit later today, but we're just sitting in the car. I'm a little bit early now. It's 8, what time is it? 8.23. Okay, I have the Apple Watch on. It turns on like every two seconds. Is that what's supposed to happen? I don't know. But I just went to Starbucks and got some egg bites. Just a dopio with cream. If you have never tried the Starbucks egg bites, you're missing out on life. This is a weird fork. What is happening? I don't know what the heck they put in there. These are probably pretty easy to make, right? Okay, just got back from the gym. 
put on a face mask. I use the Ole Henriksen cold pour plunge mask. It feels so good after you work out because it's like super cooling. I have a pile of clean dishes over there I need to put away. So right now it's almost 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna whip up a quick lunch and I'm gonna do a HelloFresh lunch today because this bad boy came in the mail. So thank you to HelloFresh for sports, for sports, sports. Sponsoring, sponsoring a portion of today's vlog. This has been actually really good for trying to eat healthy because they literally give you all the ingredients. It's like healthy, fresh food. I don't have to think about cooking or grocery shopping. They have classic veggie and family plans, and I usually get the veggie, but this time I tried the classic, which has like meat options since I'm trying to eat a lot of protein. So I'm gonna do the Monterey Jack chicken sandwich, which looks so good. I probably won't eat the bun, but this looks bomb. They show you like the step-by-step -step instructions on the back. This one also came with apricot chicken and meatloaf, balsamica. Ooh, that sounds fancy. That would be a good dinner. If you need like quick meals, they all take around 30 minutes, which is perfect. I'm not an onion shopping pro, so don't judge me, but I'm caramelizing my onions, got the chicken in the pan, and then we got the potatoes going. Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was looking at the picture wondering why they have two chicken cutlets and I had one and I'm pretty sure I stacked these on top of each other and that's actually two. Yep, awesome. Lunch is served. I am pretty proud of that chicken. One of the reasons why I wanted to get the classic box is because I'm horrible at cooking meat, if you could not tell by the cutlet situation, but I feel like that was that was easier than I make it out to be. So I think it looks pretty good. I obviously didn't put the bun on, but we got the potatoes, onions, cheese, and the best part about HelloFresh is that I always have leftovers. So I have lunch tomorrow. And HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving, which is great. And you can get the most meal for your money. So if you head to the description box, you can get eight free meals. That's two free meals in your first four boxes. You can go to HelloFresh.com, use my code thetaila 80 and that'll give you a total of $80 off. All that will be in the description box if you guys want to check it out. I'm stoked for this. Mmm. It's actually gonna taste like a restaurant, like chicken burger. Are you someone who cuts up everything at the same time? Or do you cut bite by bite? Comment down below. Riveting information I need to know. So this I mentioned in the last vlog, the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil, and I wanted to give you guys like my thoughts on it. I'm super picky about cleansing oils, but this one I love the consistency of. It's not like too runny or too thick. It takes off everything. Really like this. It will probably purchase the full size because it is cheaper than the fresh one. And then this is the new Physician's Formula, the Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Cleansing Balm. This is also really nice. The only thing is that it's very fragrant, so but it's like a super pretty light green color. I've used this one about three or four times so far and it takes off everything really nicely and it feels really good on the skin. It's not like stripping or anything. So, so far really liking that cleansing balm as well. And also in the last vlog I talked about these cotton pads, also really nice from DHC. These have friggin' like, where are they? You put your hand in there, has a little pocket and these are really thick too. You could probably use like half and half, cut in half. I don't know if the inside would like come out if you cut these in half, but these are cheaper than the Shiseido ones and they work really well, they don't shed at all. So I just have this stored over here cause it's a project and I haven't started it yet obviously, but this is a live edge piece of wood that I got in Portland actually at a like antique kind of shop. They have slabs, if I can find the name, I'll put it in right here, but basically, let me see if this still has a tag on it. I don't think, oh, it's so heavy. Okay, I don't think it does anyways. But this I got on sale for like 80 bucks, which if you're familiar with wood, this kind of thick live edge wood is usually really pricey. That's why when you buy real live edge pieces, they're very expensive. So this was like a total steal and I love the shape of it and everything. And I wanna make a side table out of this. So it looks fairly easy. I need to do some more research on it, but I need to get like the legs and stuff and then get the resin and like anything else I need. But if you're gonna do it, make sure you get like a pre-dried piece of wood. But maybe I will show that DIY in the next vlog. Might try and tackle it then. So I just finished filming and I went to open <laughs> the door and there was crap all over the door handle. If you saw my product fails video, you know which, which product that was, but it's a little sticky. This look actually won't be on my channel, but you guys will hear more about that later. I did my brows a different way. Let me show you in the light. I used the Sigma brow gel, but I think the key was this brush. I used the Anastasia, 
whoops, number 12 brush and it is super tiny. Like, let me see if I can show you compared to my usual brow brush. It doesn't actually look that much smaller, but there's something about the way this one goes on. I think it's just more stiff and it is a bit more pointy on the end. You can just really easily create like the brush hair kind of look, brush hair, brow hair, stroke kind of look. So I really like doing it that way. I'm going to keep trying that out. The Sigma Brow Gel, I do like. I've used it. It's just a little bit too gray. If I put my Milk Makeup Kush Brow Gel over top, it would probably be like perfection. I should have done that. Why didn't I do that? My face makeup right now is the Lawless Woke Up Like This Flawless Finish Makeup. And then I put a crap ton of MAC Fix Plus over top, which is what the, the glow you're seeing is. And I did set the bottom half of my face with the Peach Perfect Powder just to give that like blurring kind of look this one looks really good on camera because it just like i said it looks almost like blurring it looks like that in real life like it really does blur everything out but on camera i feel like it looks extra good so i've been wearing this for filming so that's my face makeup but i think i'm gonna end this vlog here because it's probably super long but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did you can give it a thumbs up i appreciate it i love you guys who watch the vlogs i mean i love i love all my subscribers but i feel like the people who watch my vlogs just like I don't know, the comments on vlogs and everything just get to me. And I love you guys and I'm very thankful for you. So thank you for sitting through this long vlog if you've made it here to this point. Actually, if you've made it to this point, comment the word polka dots. If you've made it to this point, comment polka dots down below. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>